they thought he was a god pretty well. And uh, and in a ranking system of authority, the psychopath admires the one with more power above them and despises the lesser beneath them. So he's uh, sadistic to the one beneath them. And you have a deviant um, uh, sadomasochistic system in operation today with everything that comes from deviancy, including into the perversions of the sexual area too. Uh, that's rampant today. It's taught today, in fact, as, an, as a new normal. Uh, winning is normal now. Uh, defeating people. If you're defeated, there's no such thing as well done. You did your best. They, they literally despise you. They hate you. They want to destroy you. Uh, and if you, if you grovel to them for help, they will destroy you. That is the system we're in. You've got a generation raised on power. Uh, all a youngster will see today is the uh, the video games with the, uh, the biggest monster beating all the, the rest, and that's what he admires. When he grows up, he wants to be on the winning team. All he sees are the cops and all the cop movies with authority, machine guns, um, attack helicopters, that kind of stuff. That's what turns him on. That's what he sees as being the normal to survive, to win. And that's what he becomes, basically. If you're not one of those, you're, you're one of the ordinary civilians, as it's called, even in the movies. They show um, them the archetypal torturing beast and say, this is the new hero. Yeah, absolutely. This is the male model, uh, not a loving, caring, intelligent male uh, who fights if they have to, but you know, is a inventor and a teacher and someone who has death. No, they're teaching the young males, be a mindless idiot, be a thug, you will have power. We'll be back with Alan Watt. Stay with us. I think the reason this radio show has been so successful is the guests, the information, the analysis, the films, the news websites, but also I am frantic. I've always telegraphed a sense of urgency because I'm genuinely feeling it. And when Alan Watt and many others I respect, of course, I could feel it in my gut and see it intellectually as well, said the quickening is now here a few years ago. You're going to see an acceleration. It's one thing to psychologically and intellectually coldly understand we're going into the big plunge, but it's another thing to actually now be living it and experiencing it, going down this slide as it accelerates. Alan Watt, uh, getting more into the oil spill and what you believe is behind that, and now where all of this is going to go, uh, what your intel is on Iran. They're openly saying they're going to attack it now, just brazenly hiding it in plain view. Uh, go over that for us. Well, we know that the attack on Iran is a continuation of the same uh, policy of uh, the project for New American Century. They listed the countries they wanted to attack when they were in collusion with Israel, uh, starting with um, they said Afghanistan for the states, then Iraq, and followed by Iran, and then Syria. They have never veered off this agenda. And the Israeli papers have actually printed this many times over, the same sequence. Um, so that's an ongoing policy, regardless of the changes of House. And as Jefferson said, when you see the same policies going through, even though the House of Congress has changed with a new party, he said then, no, then that you're under tyranny. Well, we've been seeing the same policies for many, many houses changes, uh, changes and uh, the same policies go ahead regardless uh, into the scientific socialism, as I said, where experts will guide our every move, everything that we do, even if we're born. And that's what it's all about. Um, the Gulf idea, they need a catastrophe. They needed a catastrophe, same as the 9-11, uh, the New American Century said, uh, we need something on the scale of Pearl Harbor to motivate the American public behind a war and bang, down go the towers and we're off to war. They needed something because the people were not go falling for the global warming scam. There was too much exposed about their, their fake statistics and so on. Uh, they, were, they weren't going for this carbon taxes uh, at the Copenhagen meeting. And so they needed something of a crisis to push it through, and bingo, you get the spill in the Gulf, and sure enough, they're using this as an excuse to start limiting energy and so on. They've just uh, put 300 pounds uh, extra uh, taxes on every air flight going out of Britain, 
uh, to, to make up supposedly for the coming energy shortages as they see it. This is all part of the same thing. Yeah, how does a tax make up for that? I mean, how does a tax make up? And, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, that was part of the Copenhagen Treaty is this new global authority with carbon taxes on flights. And Obama yeah. is saying we've got to pass the carbon bill. Uh, yeah. You know, this tax will fix it. And then all the evidence is they've been blocking the relief. Uh, the people on the well were given orders by BP that they said would cause this spill to happen. I mm -hmm. mean, this is... More and more, they're doing everything in plain view. Why do you think we've had them come out and admit that the CIA is putting out fake bin Laden videos in the, in the Washington Post, in the spy talk column, which is an official CIA? I mean, the Washington Post is admittedly CIA run, and that's the spy column you know, about spooks every week. They admitted that there. They come right out on Fox and admit, yes, we grow the opium. Why, Alan, when we come back, are they just suddenly admitting everything i mean it, it it's just incredible alan want whole next hour with his final hour and your phone calls dan al aaron monica jd about 15 minutes to the next hour we'll start taking your phone calls i talked to jack mcclam officer jack mcclam just over the phone last segment the last break he said he confirmed with his sources the blm bombing the oil rig iran attack moves forward iran permitted the u.s and israel to score a propaganda victory monday when it refused to allow two International Atomic Energy Agency inspectors entry into the country for an inspection of its nuclear program. And uh, it's now being used by the former head of uh, Mossad uh, to call for a preemptive strike with nukes on Iran. That's what uh, the rest of the Israeli government's calling for. And a U.S. slash Israeli fleet is now off the coast of Iran. And Israeli papers are saying that it, uh, they're preparing to start boarding Iranian ships and stopping goods going into the country, which is an act of war. So this could flare up today, a week from now, or a year from now, but it's definitely on the front burner, and, th and this is so serious. But going back to Alan Watt, we'll talk more about that throughout the hour, uh, researcher, author, Alan Watt. Uh, Alan, I was asking you the question of why are they so out in the open now? I mean, they've really shifted from admitting things more and more a few years ago, but spinning it to just, yeah, the CIA fakes fake bin Laden videos in the Washington Post. Yeah, the government's growing the opium and shipping it in. What's the big deal? I mean, what is that tactic, Alan Watt? Uh, part of it is a, a tactic of the creation of apathy within the general populace. When, when you're changing or shifting gears from one system to another, and you're destroying all the old, and you're increasing prices, you've got massive unemployment rates, all of that kind of stuff, you, you give them a kind of schizoid um, society, again, through all media, where on the one hand, you turn on the television and things seem quite normal, there's your favorite old shows and everything's okay, and then you hear your schizophrenic news mixed with Hollywood and so on, so all the horror that you're seeing is the drones hit uh, the wrong villages in Pakistan, kill people, is mixed up with uh, the latest boob job uh, in some Hollywood bimbo. Um, everything becomes surrealistic, and at the same time, they hammer you uh, with a new system, the ideas that subconsciously penetrate you, that you're going into or you are into a new system, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's a creation of apathy mixed up with surrealism. It's a scientific technique, actually, intense, um, very advanced psychological warfare on a grand scale. And it's done through repetition. We've been going through it for quite a few years. It's now. learned helplessness. It's confusing people. Uh, never in an old tribal situation 5,000 years ago would you see happy bimbos cut into children dying. And so it's not normal. And so they're literally searing our neurons and programming us where we're a bunch of gibbering idiots and just can't even respond to real human activity as they reduce the language down where it's impossible now. I mean, I see people at grocery stores and the mall and the street, even well-to-do people who literally cannot hold a conversation. I mean, they have been turned into subhoid slaves. They have. It's linguistic minimalism, so they cannot, they cannot express ideas of even frustration, never mind, let's get ready for a revolution. And it, Orwell went through that whole technique very, very well indeed. You cannot express a thought to another person or a coherent idea or a plan and therefore nothing can come against those who are ruling you. It's very advanced psychological warfare, but uh, Bertrand Russell and others said we have to create apathy amongst the public during this phase. That's what you've got to an extent as a, as a form of apathy. It makes people feel powerless. What can you do is the only thing that they can possibly say. What can you do? Oh, well. 
and uh, and everyone again is tied into a system as we're trained to like little little animals to to work for this thing called money that keeps becoming more more um, diluted like uh, like water and uh, everybody's afraid to to lose the little bit that they have already even though those who at the top are bringing you into a system that you where you will be given ration cards and you will be given so many credits for being a good boy or a good girl and you might buy that that new iPod or whatever it happens to be that's right that's the secret they get you roped in to the casino they get you roped into Wall Street. They get you roped into the pension, roped into Social Security, roped into the system on your smaller and smaller island, like Howard Beale says. Just leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my steel belted radials, and I'll leave you alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm a human being. My life has value. I don't know what all the answers are. I just know first you've got to get mad. You've got to break your conditioning. You've got to see how they've incrementally lowered us into this morass of evil and dehumanization. You've got to break your conditioning and awaken out of it. Stay with us.